in this demo we notice that the audit UI is currently empty so we will use the interface here to simulate from the perspective of the prospect of the customer the request age 447 4k is monthly salary total asset of 250k requiring 110k over a period of 100 installments as I click submit we can see that the mortgage approval is false now let's switch back to the audit UI and if I refresh here I can notice that there is the execution so what we notice here is that I can go back in and see that indeed the mortgage approval was false in this uh, record we can see that uh, these are the original input data uh, we noticed uh, the the outcomes we can also start to see that yes this request seems to be in policy but with a high risk score if needed uh, you can also the the auditor here can also look up the model uh, that represents and here we can dig in some of the um, reasons for these uh, these decisions in this case we can notice that the risk score seems to be related mainly uh, to these uh, in the, to these indicators to these uh, features so what we can do now uh, as uh, uh, we notice that what was the input data as a, an auditor as a case worker I can run some counterfactual analysis and for instance I can start to say okay let's say that uh, uh, my interest here is only to, to look for the mortgage approval and uh, let's uh, run through some hypotheses let's say that uh, the customer had exactly the same request but I want to see what uh, part the age played a role in here and if I could get the loan approval with any other value of the of the age as I run the counterfactual now basically what I'm uh, asking for is that I want to uh, go my goal is to get the mortgage approval to true but uh, with exactly the same input data but changing only the age here it will run for a few seconds and I can start to see that yes uh, actually there is a value if it was the exactly same request uh, but for I uh, would say here almost a uh, 10 year younger more than 10 year younger then it will have accepted we can briefly also quickly test here because it's a demo these are hypotheses let's say that uh, here I would have said year old we can see that now the mortgage approval has gone to true so let's put back again the age 47 as we know this is uh, was a mortgage approval false and let's run against some uh, new hypotheses so what I'm going to do here again is that uh, I want uh, just uh, to get the mortgage approval to true this is my my goal and then I'm uh, able to actually change I, I want exactly the same input value so the same age of the customer but let's say that okay actually I could be interested between alone between 80k and then 150k so as I run the contact factual analysis again I'm optimizing this case for the same goal but uh, changing another of the input data so here is, of course the customer cannot change the age uh, but maybe it can accommodate to request for a lower amount in this case we can start to see so this is uh, uh, the system is telling me okay this is the uh, one of the maximum value by which the mortgage approval would have went to true we can test again this hypothesis here and let's say that instead of requiring 110 let's say that we ask uh, 95k as we can see the mortgage approval as one to throw.